it's too heavy, I can lighten it up to make it easier to sell for you guys. I'll be as easy peasy as you want me to be. But then this, just like Beacon being wrong about the taper drawing, I had to spend four days arguing with these guys to say that I know how water drains when I've been doing roofing for 10 years. And then the same thing then goes on to the car loss. I still don't think it's approved. Then, then that's on y'all. I got you this, the taper drawing that we resubmitted after you guys sent me the new plans is less tapered than the original one. You, I owe you like a three or $400 bucket. All right, sorry for cussing again. I owe like a three or $400 change order back if you want. I offered it, but nothing changed as far as what you were talking about. These guys, it's every single tiny thing that seems like it could be a ghost fart of a, of a molehill has been blown up. The, the, the architect getting the spec wrong for the sure weld on Carlisle saying it's spectra weld. Spectra weld is for photovoltaic solar roofing and it, it, it is almost 100% more expensive than material and Carlisle agreed. Every single time I've been told I'm wrong, I've had to turn around and deal with the bad faith of proving myself correct. I just want everybody to be, to understand that I have been in business now for five years. I have been operating and giving you guys everything you need up to this point. And I have been as fair as possible and tried to be as lenient as possible. I tried those damn coping saddles. I told Alan, if he just got Kelly to get off my back, I would just give them to him for free. I want everything to go successful. And I want to do business with you guys because I like you. And I truly respect, and I respect you that give me this time in general. And they even allow me to talk without just talking over me. And I truly want to move forward in our relationship, but it has to be either by the letter or with faith. I'm not, I, I think we're going to have a serious problem throughout this job getting rid of I, I, I mean, I think there's a gigantic personality out there. I really do. I'm worried. We got to figure I am too, honestly. I mean, and Corey, I'm, I was willing to hear you out. I think we both were. We have a, there's a complete um, difference of opinion on how to build a project on work complete. I'm not trying to be unfair and, and say that we're gonna pay, we're not gonna pay you, but we have to do it within the percent complete of a project. And I don't care if you made, if, if this thing was $500,000 and you made a 50% profit, I don't care. But we have to bill it based off of the percent complete on the project. And with this being a joint check agreement, I think it showed that the money due at 143,000 and then you're asking for $100,000 and nothing else has happened on, on the project itself is why the red flags came up with the ownership group and us when we were doing they started the investigation. Right. And, so they started, and so they started questioning it and it makes it difficult to pay somebody that much dollars in advance. I'm not trying to, we're not trying to screw you out of whatever money you're owed or whatever profit you're gonna get on, you know, get on this project, but it would be crazy for us to overpay what's reasonable on the project but, and something happen. But you have to understand that's that. Bad faith. That's bad faith business practices. That's that's the, against the whole point. That's the point of our contract. But that's why percent, this is happening. Percent complete is percent complete on the project. Yeah, and per schedule, per our schedule of values, which you have had no issues with, I'm giving you every opportunity to change it. My percent complete on my material, I'm billing for 52 percent, and I have 100 percent of it out there. And in, but but it wasn't in, delivered in December. But December 10th, I'm billing for 52 percent of it. How is that not fair? I specifically went in and took out the dense deck and the paper and pulled them out. I'm not billing for anything that got dropped in January. The invoices that I have, the invoice I sent in is only for material dropped December 10th. And I'm billing for 52% of my overall material schedule. What it doesn't matter if what that is, if, if it, it's, a, it, it's not a matter of dollars being paid on the contract. It's percent complete. Well, your schedule of values is something that you just made up that we have no idea if it's right or not. That's why I'm giving you all every opportunity and, to, to challenge it. And, you, and we did to, because to you only gave us material invoices. I'm not going to give you overhead and profit breakouts. Can you go to Can you go to Walmart and ask them for overhead and profit breakouts when you buy M&Ms? 
you have a contract with me, we have a joint check agreement with Beacon saying that out of your contract with me, you will pay them my invoices. You do not have a contract with Beacon. You do not have a contract with Carlisle. So if we pay $162,000, which is $180,000, less $18,000, $162,000, and if we get paid this week, that check is available Tuesday. You have been writing that you will agree to pay me that one eighty dollars minus retainers, and then Monday doesn't matter. I'll have that there. And that part of that would be a joint check to $143,000 to, to be. And then you just get the, that, the difference. Yes, sir. Right. And you will have people on a job on Monday. Yes, sir. You will have a certificate of insurance from you. Hopefully, I'll share that today. Actually. And from Nations Renovation. Yes, sir. You need to get certified. You need to get. You need to get registered on the certified paper, certified payroll. And I think because you aren't, you don't have any employees. I think Nations Renovation has to be on there also. Yeah, and I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. How. We I'm can't, ask Kelly Nations Renovation is going to have to be on certified payroll. So you know it's our job. You know it's Davis Bacon Tax. Does Red Nations Renovation know that? Yeah. Okay, so we need to get both of you certified on the HUD, and there's instructions are in here in your sort of contract. Yes, sir. We need to get certificates of insurance from both of you that match Exhibit C on the yes, contract. Sir. I need to get a, you've given me the joint <coughs> check agreement signed by Beacon. I need to get one for Nations also. Is there any other, who's doing the clay tile work? Nations was my intention to use them for all my reasons. I'm concerned with Nations because of what we're hearing from Carlisle. Gentlemen, if you guys have a concern, then I will, if you get me that in writing, I, I'll oh. take your faith that you are, then I'll, on my way back, I'll start calling people from Carlisle. Carlisle, Carlisle said that they're not going to certify them. They were going to pull them off no, the certified list. I'm, I'm, I have a whole list of people from Carlisle I'll okay. call. Well, I think and you, then, and that's your business, but if no, you yeah, can. I'll handle it. We'll have guys there Monday, is what I'm saying. Love Carlisle certified. Carlisle Whoever it is, I want a certificate of insurance and I want certified pay. I want them registered certified pay. Absolutely. And if, if they don't have the certificate, I'll get an additional insurance and certification on mine. So where are we at then with the rest of the seals on the job? Because as far as I know, Kelly has all of them. He, I sent them all of the submittals in September, and then had to resend them to him in, in December. We, uh, he asked me yesterday for our day before yesterday for dense deck and to clean up the tile submittals. I sent them the Densec one today, and the tile ones, it's just, they're too intermingled. It's, uh, they only built one big thing for everything in, in that category. And unless you want me to go through 168 pages and delete three quarters of half of the information, then, you know, that's why those things are worth $13,000 to get completed. Your January pay application, explain it to you but um, it needs to be it can't be what he's doing oh I, well, I did I did a sample no I, I get it I, I think Alan hasn't he didn't question this but I think that we need to whether it's adding 
No, that's the overhead in front. It, I don't understand why. Look, I don't understand why you're so hesitant about saying that and pulling twenty five percent of this problem overhead. I don't understand why you're hesitant. If if it's not a if, matter of that I'm you're, hesitant of doing it, it's a matter of I don't want to set a precedent for why for us having a profit margin set on the job and then us getting to a point where you're saying well you said you only made 25 percent and then the rest of this i don't care this, i don't care what i've been Brooks doing said. this you know i've been doing this for a, a while now too well, I, and I've, every gc that i've ever worked for that has asked the more in depth somebody tries to break down your billing the more likely it is they're not going to pay you i don't i don't care the, the problem arose on the joint check side of things if it and we're doing that to protect I totally understand you ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so that we can kind of control. That's what happened. I mean, if if he would if he would have had a BMP bond on this deal, which I know he said he didn't have to have, but if he had a BMP bond and he paid his bills, we would. I mean, he yeah, because we never so, money. You know what? I don't think <laughs> what I would like to do is is break this out so we have, and, and maybe it's not. I would like to work on this and show you what I want to make this thing. If you're saying your beacon is how much is the total beacon amount deal? Right, two ninety. That's why I have two ninety. Yeah. And that's for is that for just the roof material? That's for or is that metal too? The beacon will be providing all of my material. Even and the that two nine everything and that two ninety includes a ton of overage and, and extra space as well. So if you just put beacon materials and you put two ninety as schedule values. Realizing that you're gonna to have to give material backup for that and, and you get paid on that basis, okay? Just follow me for a minute. And then if you have another one and it's called whoever to, whoever it's it's roofing, it's metal, and it's tile labor. Okay, and whoever and that's and they could be under There's nation. XYZ, yeah. They could be under whoever it is, and that's yes, and that's shit, let's just say it's a hundred thousand dollars. Let's just say a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Just and then, and then you put and I'm probably that's probably too much. So we'll just say situational wise, this, the number itself doesn't matter. We'll just factor. And, it. and profit and fee is separate, and it's whatever it is. If it's fifty thousand or a hundred, it needs to probably be a hundred thousand because we just paid you twenty five percent. So I like it for it to be. Well, that's why I didn't want to set a, a, a margin. That is just that can be what I will agree to if we can, you know, moving forward. If we put in writing some a clause in the contract talking about how this gets broken out and how it gets and how it gets billed for, I will do something similar to that where I have all that all that stuff breaking out where I have projected what I expect my stuff to come in at and then projected overhead and profit in its own thing. But if we, if we have to have the clause specifically written out that I bill that the overhead and profit doesn't get retainers pulled out of it. Well, no, that's-, that's Well, it. It, would be, it would be weird, like how, because when- it, Retainers gets held on everything. The, the, but then the, issue, the hard part comes in is then how do we- That's how the big boys- like, I, That's what I understand. I understand that the issue is, is dealing with the percentage percentage of it wise because then it's going to be pulling we're holding retainage on no i'm not worried about retainage over the whole job i'm not i'm what i'm trying to talk, talk about is not paying you know like how 143 minus the nine thousand or whatever would are with would have been me paying nine thousand dollars the beacon situations like that well we're, we're, so pay, we're we would if i'm sorry if, i overspoke if I your invoices were 143 yes sir, I then we would have sorry. added you would have added money to it to cover the retainage to the materials no, you wouldn't got paid well, talking about break, when we have the schedule of values broken out to where we have the profit on its own line i just overspoke i'm sorry i just don't want to continue to i don't want to continue having a problem here so this so for december is 143 in january you're saying that there's another set of invoices here that add up to be 100. Well, no, you know you're gonna have 150 if, you, if all the materials are gonna be on the site you know it's gonna be 150 next month or 140. Yeah, if, if the 290 is right. Right now, you have 143 plus 13,000 in dense deck bringing you to 156 plus 21,000 in taper bringing you to 178,000 total. So there's more material. to be delivered out there. Then. No, that's everything that's out there, and that's 100% of the projected needs for material. But that includes what's been delivered this past week. No, he said that's 140. So the total material is, is, is before this week. December 10th is the 143. The 178 is what we're currently at as of January. So there will be. Thirty-seven thousand dollars in oh, January, and your joint and your deal with Beacons for two ninety. Two ninety, just in case. Well, the problem is when 
when you pushed to January, it said, it looked like we were just pushing the whole pay up from one month to the next. And I know that you revised it and changed the number, but it's pay up one. So we're really paying fee on top of 143. We're not gonna we're not gonna put the materials for January into the pay up number. Yeah, but this is he's gonna do a pay up number two for January, which will be the yeah, materials yeah, yeah. that just got delivered. Yeah, plus absolutely. fee on top of that, plus work in place. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll, I'm gonna try. I actually plan on only billing up to I think like 85-ish percent of my materials, my typical thing. And I leave that for a little bit of room just in case there's well, you know yeah. scrap here or there you're, to order. You're, billing, you're gonna bill for materials invoice plus twenty five percent. No, I've not said it. Well that's what we just did. That's the no, person we just I said. I specifically here. said we're not agreeing to a twenty five percent profit margin. I will bill percentage complete and I will break it out, but I'm not going to bill so we're gonna continue cost plus twenty five percent. We're gonna continue having the well, what percentage it. doesn't matter. It's a, whatever the profit margin is is what it is. Well, we're not gonna over we're not gonna over No, but if we break this out to where it's here's my projected cost plus here's